What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine Pearl. In today's video, we're looking to have some fun with it. I made myself a nice little Magnet Zone team. It also features Starmie, and then we got the Swift Swim combo with Pelipper and Ludicolo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. We got plenty of new content coming on the way. Strikers video should be out very, very soon. And we got a Pokemon Nuzlocke coming at you guys. Cannot wait to get started with that. That is definitely going to be a lot of fun. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Rocking out with Magnetone as our first Pokemon. We got Magnet as its item alongside with the sturdy ability so that basically works like a focus ash it's a free focus ash that's what it is his ability is a focus ash so we basically get two items we got the focus ash and we got the magnet and then this thing is rocking out with a great move set a volt switch to pivot out and do some nice little stab damage flash cannon for stab damage protect and thunder for heavy stab damage which on top of that will hit 100 percent of the time in the rain due to this little bird right here we got pelper as our second pokemon he's got scald he's got hurricane he's got roost and protect i probably should have gave him tailwind could have worked a little better, but I still do like this move set. His ability is obviously Drizzle, so he sets the rain every time he hops into battle. And then his item is going to be that Citrus Berry to give it a little bit more HP when it falls below half. Third Pokemon is going to be Pelipper's best friend. We got Ludicolo over here with Life Orb alongside with a Swift Swim ability. So when it's in the rain, its speed is doubled. It is going to be cooking. It's going to be outspeeding everything. And just doing work from there. It's got a great move set of Scald for Stab, Fake Out for Flinches, Ice Beam for our coverage move, and Giga Drain for another Stab move. I love Ludicolo. Water and Grass typing works so well. It can resist a lot. And plus, with Giga Drain as a stab move, it can just recover HP when it wants to. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is Tokus. I feel like I haven't used Tokus in a good bit, but Tokus is legit one of the strongest Pokemon in BDSP. It's got Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, and Protect, which I do believe is its best moveset, alongside with the Super Luck ability, and then the Scope Lens as an item. So most of the time, it's just here to do some big damage, crit up on Pokemon, and actually distract. So it works as a special attacker and a support Pokemon by using Follow Me. So that's why I feel like Tokus is one of the better Pokemon. It has great stats all around and a great move pool to work with. Fifth Pokemon on squad is Scissor. That's all I'm going to say. It's Scissor with that item, that ability, and that moveset. Pretty straightforward. Best moveset for him in this game. Let's move on to our final Pokemon. Final Pokemon is going to be Starmie, and I love Starmie. Starmie is actually one of my favorite water types, so I cannot wait to rock out with it. Get using it in some BDSP. We got Scald. We got Psychic, both for our stab moves. We got Ice Beam for coverage. Protect for a fourth and final move. Its ability is going to be Analytic, which boosts the move power when the Pokemon moves last. So if there's a Pokemon fast on him, he is going to hit harder than them after they hit him. So if he can actually eat up a shot, which we are going to be guaranteed with the Focus Ash, we can actually do some big damage with this analytic ability, which works really, really well. But uh, there's team preview, guys. Team's looking good. It's looking spiffy. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Let's grab some wins for you. First battle coming at you guys, and this is what I like to see. A nice little off-meta Pokemon. We got some Toxic Croak going, got Mega, Gastron, Infernape, and then he also has the Swift Swim combo, just like me, the Ludicolo, and the Pelipper. Okay, how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Magnezone could be pretty solid here. We just have to watch out for that Gastron coming in there and doing some work. And then he also has that Infernape, which could be a little scary. So uh, do I go Pelipper and Ludicolo just to lead this off? I mean, he does have Dry Skin on that, uh, on that little booger right there, but I still think this is going to be a solid lead. Definitely has dry skin on the top screw, but I'm still going to go in Pelper. I'm going to go to Ludicolo. I'm going to bring Magnezone in the back end, and then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards this Togekiss. I do love me some Togi action. Yeah, Togekiss in the back end. It's looking real well. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Dude, but BDSP is just so much fun to play. I always love hopping back and forth through it uh, with, between Sword and Shield and BDSP. It just works so well. But this guy actually just outplayed me here hard. He got his Toxic Croak out here, and then he's just like, yo, I know you're going to lead the Pelipper. Let me not lead my Pelipper and just go lead the Cola. Wow. Great play by him. I'll give it to him all day. But I have Fake Out ready to roll. Um, I could Hurricane Drop, but I think I'm going to do it onto the Toxic Croak. I'm going to Hurricane Drop onto the Toxic Croak, and I'm just going to go for the Fake Out straight onto the Ludicolo Cola here. Ludi Ludi Cola. What's good? Does my Ludi Cola go first? It does indeed. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. So we get off that flinch. We show that we are a Life Orb, and then his Toxic Croak is going to drop a Fake Out, and he's going to go into my Ludi Cola. Okay, that's cool. I'm cool with that thing. Definitely cool with that turn, because now I get this 100% accuracy hurricane ripping into this Toxic Croak. So Toxic Croak, get on out of here. So solid start to the battle. We'll take it all day. That's actually really good that uh, maybe we won the speed tie, or my Ludicolo was just faster. And then his Toxic Croak came across this way. Because maybe his Ludicolo was going after Pelper. He could have been a double fake out kind of move. I'm with this all day. But from here, what am I going to do? I'm just going to hurricane again. And then I got Giga Drain ripping on the side. So I think this match is going to be quick. We might just start this one off with a big fat W, right? It's looking good for us. He's going to protect Gastro. 
I am fine with that. And uh, he's going to end up surfing. So I guess I just won the speed tie. Or he was just looking to go for a surf. If he's going to end up surfing here, that's totally fine. Ludicolo is going to be able to surf pretty well. Same thing with Pelper. And more importantly, Pelper is going to be able to land this 100% accuracy hurricane. Which I think can take out, right? Pelper's playing no games today. He's playing no games today. Yo, he is not messing around. Pelper with the big time KO. Drops Ludicolo, no problem. And now we have the fastest Pokemon on the field, which is going to be Ludicolo. So I can Giga Drain pretty much just take out that guy, Sean. This battle's over, with, right? Yeah, Mega's going to come out here. I think I could do just cancel this battle. <laughs> Dude, Hurricane rips. Hurricane is ripping. That's GG's. Don't cancel battle. Let it finish out, though. Let it finish out. I should have went 6v6 in this guy because this was a quick battle. This was a quick battle, but he's definitely going to cancel, knowing that I have a Swiss from Ludicolo coming after. And he doesn't. He lands double protect instead. This dude lands double protect instead. That's, that kind of hurts his soul a little bit. That hurts his soul a little bit. He lands a double protect. Air Slash going to come in hot here. He's going to go after Pelper. And Pelper, oh, I was going to say, should be able to eat. I'm surprised he didn't take out uh, my Ludi Cola. My Ludi Ludi Cola. So this thing's going to get a speed boost. Um, I'm kind of cool with this. I think Ludi Cola might still out speed just for a little bit. But I'm just going to bring in Magnet Zone. Drop a big old thunder into that Yam Mega. That thing really landed a double protect. <laughs> get out my face. Get out of my face. But yeah, Thunder's 100% accuracy. Might as well rip into it with it and then just drop Giga Drain onto this left slot again. For the third time in a row. For the third time in a row. He's going to end up going for a Bug Buzz. We're dead to that, right? Yeah. So Ludicolo is going to drop here. Um, We'd still have Sturdy. He probably has a... Uh, he probably is going to go for a... Uh, was an Earth Power? But hopefully this thing's not Poop Sash. Thunder's going to come through and deal some big old damage. And it's not Poop So thank you, Magazoon. Coming in hot here. And that pretty much finishes up the battle, right? Because my, my Tokus should be able to just 1v1. And we eat the shot up all day. Because we are sturdy. Lovely sturdy. So I can just flash cannon out. I can constantly just air slash look for flinches. And that's pretty much GG's. Wow, yo. Pokemon were dropping left and right in this battle. <laughs> left and right. BDSP, yo. It's so much fun. It's just so much fun. They're quick battles. They're, they're fun to use. And you, just, and you just see a bunch of off-meta Pokemon, which is a lot of fun. But uh, from here, we're going to have to go for a flash cannon. Maybe get a special defense drop. And then just roll into I think air slash going to be our best bet. A little bit less uh, power. But we get some flinch chances, which is gorgeous. So air slash poke through here. Send it. Chipping up. Chipping up. Flash hands can come in hot. Send it. Bang. Give me that special defense drop. That should do a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. And he flinches anyway. So that's GG's now. That is GG's. G to the G's. And I don't even think we need to uh, flinch anymore. I'd rather just go for this a uh, little bit more damage here. Take this thing out. Lovely. That's a gleam gun coming hot. Chip up some more damage. We don't get the crit though. Slow whack. Oh, and he has a berry. How dare you have a berry? How dare you have a berry? How dare you have a berry? I'm surprised we didn't get any crit yet. Scope lens along with super luck. Bang, chipping up some more damage. My boy's doing some good damage. Doing some good damage. This guy's gonna end up recovering. Okay, so it looks like you you want the air slash combo. Looks like you want to constantly get air slash. I'm fine with that. If you want to constantly get air slash, that's fine. I gave you the chance for me to just dazzle and gleam at you, but now I'm just going to air slash him and flinch you all day. Oh, come on, man. Oh, we got to get that. Give me the special defense drop, though. Give me that special defense drop. 0 for 3 with it? Don't be 0 for 3 with it. You are 0 for 3 with it. He's going to ice beam. Into Togi. Into Togi. Do not freeze me. Do not freeze me. Thank you. Cool. So, we missed our last air slash. That's fine. We're going for another one here. If we just get this flinch, it's GG's. Or if we get a special defense drop. He's going to have to recover. Or if he doesn't recover. And there's a crit. The crit. The crit works beautifully. Crit works beautifully. Flash cannon comes through here. Magnezone clutching up. Doing some enough damage to take out the gas shot. And I'm not going to lie. it would be shaking a little bit. If RNG would have went on his side a little bit, we definitely could have lost. But hey, want to know for today's video? Let's hop into our second. First battle went perfectly for us. But we're hopping into our second. And this one's looking a little tough. He's got a powerful team. He's rocking with the, uh, the Rotom. Alongside with the Intimidate him on top, who works well for fake outs. He's got Guard Chomp, he's got Speed Control with Latias, and then he also has that Patch Reese. So I can see that Rotom being a Discharge kind of Rotom, doing some work with that, having Volt Absorb with Patch Reese, and then it doesn't affect the uh, Guard Chomp as well. So definitely gotta watch out for that. Then final Pokemon he is rocking is going to be that lovely Tokus. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I don't even think we should bring the Rain Squad. Dude, the Rain Squad's looking real scary. The Water Pokemon are looking scary because that Rotom is going to rip. So maybe Tokus could be a solid lead for us. And we can also lead like Magnezone, or we can also lead like Scissor if, if we want to set up. But Intimidate might come out here. Intimidate might be a lead. I could go actually here. I'm thinking Starmie because he has a few Dragon Pokemon that we can actually just rip into with Ice Beam. And then we'll bring Magnezone in the back end alongside with Scissor. I just don't think Ludicolo and, and Palper really fair. 
guys. Actually, we could go Ludicolo. Ludicolo isn't looking too bad. I might swap Magneto for Ludicolo. Yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But battle number one, it was just like, it was just a party, dude. Every every Pokemon was getting one tap. He was bug buzzing me. I was hurricane dropping him until it came down to legit like the Gastrodon. We were just going back with just shooting down our Pokemon, which I thought was hilarious. But he's going to end up leading the Pachirisu alongside with that. Okay, I'm actually really fine. I am really fine with that. So Starmie's going to come out here for me, and Pachirisu is going to come out here him. Okay. Uh, from here, I could just drop some air slashes. I'm looking for some flinchies. Flinchies could be nice, and then I could scald look for some burns, or I can just go for straight up some Psychic. Psychic does do a bit more damage. So, you know, we're going to double down on this Togekiss. This Togi's going to get it. This Togi is going to get it. Get after his Togekiss. Well, that's a weird lead for him. I think he's looking to uh, get some uh, speed control with Paralyzes. Maybe just follow me kind of walk from there. He's kind of smart. Well, I wonder who his follow me Pokemon is, because both of them are follow me. But if I had to guess, it would be Pachirisu because Tokus can actually hit hard, unlike Pachirisu. We'll see. We shall see. Make a move, but yo, look at Tokus' little face. I think it's hilarious. Sermon's gonna outspeed everybody. He's not gonna go for follow me. I think he's just trying to nuzzle buzzle up. Let's play all day. And my Tokus outspeeds, which is gorgeous. So we have one chance going out here. Beautiful. Nice damage. No crit. And this thing's gonna end up nuzzle buzzing. So that actually kind of works well, but doesn't work well for me. Because we have analytic and we double or we do more damage when uh when we go last. But that's beautiful. We get that flinch right there onto that uh on that tokus. I'm gonna hope for a crit here. Actually, if we don't get a crit, I'm I'm just gonna psychic and double damage. We don't get the crit. But he's gonna nuzzle buzzle me. How dare you? How dare you nuzzle buzzle me? He's gonna end up with drawing the tokus. That's totally fine. Who's he gonna go into? Who are you going into, kind sir? You go in the Rotom here. The good thing we actually are doubling down into it. And he's gonna protect Patchy, dude. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. He protects Patchy. When he's gonna come out here, just get blocked. And Analytics should boost this move up. So Gleam's gonna fly out here, chip up his damage on the Rotom, and then Psyche's gonna fly. Beautiful. Beautiful. Give me that special defense shot, dude. That'll be beautiful. Oh my god, yo. Analytic with the crit! Oh my lord. Yes, sir. Star me. Star me. Let's get it. That's a huge turn for us, because that was like his big threat. Was that Rotom right there? That was the big threat, and my Star me just dumped on it. Just dumped on it. You see how fast that that that, that dropped? The bar was like, you know, <laughs> just dropped instantly. We're gonna keep ripping in with these psychics. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last turn. We're gonna double down into this uh, token slot, and he's gonna end up protecting. That's totally because we have Gleam flying. We're gonna chip up some damage on Apache, and we're gonna get after it next turn. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Starmie's ripping. Love me some Starmie. Get some damage off on Apache, and then she's gonna nuzzle down onto this slot. And I kind of saw that coming from like the beginning. Like I said, he was just gonna, he just has Patchy out here for speed control, but these guys are doing work. These guys are doing work. I have Scissor in the back end. Um, I'm paralyzed, but hey, I'll take that turn because he was protecting. But yeah, I have a uh, Scissor in the back end, so I'm not really worried about this stuff. You know, I'm gonna double down the Patchy here. I am gonna double down the Patchy here. I am going to double down into this Patchy. Like I said, I'm not worried about Tokus. If I just bring a scissor, bullet punch, later. Get him on out of here. And then if I had to guess, he probably has to guard chomp in the back end. And I have Ludi Colch on there. Fake out, ice beams. Do some damage. Do some damage on that. We shall see. We shall see. This Tokus and Starmie don't work for me. Can't believe he swapped it to the Rotom. And then my Starmie was just like, oh, have this psychic. Just have it. He's gonna end up super fanging me. It's fine. Half my health. That's what I find. This thing is going to. Hot. He's going with the plot. That's scary, yo. We kind of need a crit here. Get a crit. Tokus, you got that scope one. You got the super luck. It's all you. Psychic's going to fly through here. Analytic boosting that. Look at that damage. Get a double crit. Oh, he has a citrus berry. I should have known. Citrus berry comes out here. He's going to get a little bit of HP back. But, yo, get a crit onto that Tokus. Take out this Tokus all day. Lean flying. Take out Togi. Oh, no crit. Come on. You're better than that. You are so much better than that. We'll gleam again. This thing is plotted up, which is kind of scary. Uh, but uh, probably gonna gleam again. Do I just protect? I am gonna end up protecting you. It's gonna be my play. Cause if he takes out my tokus, I legit just bring out scissor. I legit just bring out scissor. So we'll protect the star. I love me some star me. One of my favorite water Pokemon. It's so cool. He's gonna end up going for a file me, and that's fine. We are gleaming. And is he gleaming as well? He is gonna gleam. Tokus, can you eat this? Probably not, right? He's nasty plotted. He is plotted. Yeah, Tokus drops, which, again, I'm cool with. I'm cool with. 
am definitely cool with because I'm just gonna go. Oh, I could go in here. But I kind of don't want to. I'm gonna go in this scissors. Just pose that bull punch threat. Try to get rid of this patchy. Try to get rid of this patchy. But yeah, bull punch gonna fly here. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm just going to go into a uh, go into a ice beam. This might be your best bet. Nah, Psychic. I like Psychic. Even though Ice Beam would probably do more damage, but Psychic's just, it's just a good move. But he goes for another follow me here. He wants to dodge his bullet punch. My Scissor should be able to eat up whatever he, uh, Togekiss has to offer. So this could be really good for us. And we don't pick up the KO. Oh, dude, I really need that KO. What? This thing has Flamethrower. Oh, God. Oh, God. We can't be paralyzed here. No, dude, come on. Get out of my face with that. Get out of my face with that. Wow, we were sitting in such a good spot. We were sitting in such a good spot, but that bullet punch didn't take out the KO. The bullet punch did not pick up the KO. We are going to go for a fake out here. And I am going to go for a... Psychic. I'm double down to this Tokus. This Tokus got to go, even though he's probably following me this last shot. Wow, dude, that thing's ripping. That thing is ripping. Had flamethrower too. He ends up withdrawing Patchy. Oh, is this a good turn for us? This is a great turn for us. He withdraws Patchy for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, he wants to intimidate. He wants to intimidate on two special attackers. Thanks very much. But I think he might protect and go for the fake out. Wow, if he protects his turn, that's solid for him. Oh my lord. Yo, this guy's playing good. This guy's playing good. Dodges the fake out. And dang, dude. That's going to be GG's, right? GG's. Unless he went for a psychic in there. That's a lot. Let's see one for a second in that slot, but at this point, uh, it's gonna do. We got this. He's definitely faking me out. Do I double down on Tokus? I think I have to, right? I think it's like pretty much like we have to. Because he's gonna fake out one of my Pokemon. I'm gonna double down on Tokus here. I'm double down on Tokus. And if Ludicolo manages to. Ah, uh, never mind. He's faking out one of my Pokemon. This battle. This battle was looking so good for us. Because I was not expecting Tokus to have flamethrower. So I was just like, he's going to either gleam or air slash. My uh, my scissors should be fine. And then we couldn't take out the patchy either with that bull punch. That's what I was scared of. I was definitely scared of that. But I knew the final move was coming, but I had to pose a threat with the bull punch. Let's see what he does. I just wasn't expecting the flamethrower. So he ends up going for the fake out into there. And what's he going for? A gleam. Come on, you guys got to eat this. Star meat eats. Oh, you get a crit on Ludi. That's GG's, right? That's GG's. But at least we take out the Togus. At least we take out the Togus. Bye, Togus. Thanks for showing out. Thanks for showing out. But yeah, that's, it's over with. Everybody's going to be able to outspeed my, my star me. And, 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 that, and that's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. Because if it wasn't 1v1, I mean, as long as we get off a of Psychic, we would win. But hey, everyone outspeeds me. Everyone outspeeds me. Now he has Patchy. It's just GG. So I'm just going to run the battle. I'm going to keep my lovely little star Pokemon alive. And not gonna lie, kind of upset we lost that one. Kind of upset the paralyzed definitely did us dirty, but that Tokus sent him to that nice spot with Flamethrower really won him the battle. We're rolling into our third and final battle, and we're going up against the same exact opponent in the last battle. I went out of the Coliseum, went back, got paired up with this guy again, so I'm ready to rock it. I definitely want to try to get a win here in battle number three and grab ourselves a winning record, but we'll see. We definitely will see, but I feel like Pelper and Ludicolo could be good. If he leads the Rotom, we can kind of just go from there, and we can uh, just Giga Drain on top of that. But I feel like Starmie's going to be able to do work alongside with a Pokemon like uh, Togekiss. I really want to bring the Scissor, but like seeing that how that uh, how that Togekiss really just ripped into me with Flamethrower, I don't like it. I don't like it. Plus, Togekiss is super effective up against the Latias, the Garchomp, and the Hitmontop. So, I really do like that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Only if we had a ground Pokemon. Just get rid of that Pachirisu, though, because Pachirisu was a bulky little little mouse little or squirrel. A little squirrel. Real bulky. He's going to end up bleeding these two. So, follow me could definitely come out here. Um, I could fake out Patchy. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to fake out Patchy and just go for like a Hurricane. No, I tried to fake out the Rotom. Rotom is really posing threat here. Rotom is really posing threat. Pick out the Rotom. Or I can just go for a game. I'm gonna pick out the Rotom. Fake him out. We're gonna scald on top of that. Try to get after the battle. Ludicolo is gonna drop a level fake out. He might just nuzzle buzzle me, which could be annoying. Could definitely be annoying, but Scald should be able to do a decent amount of damage. And here comes the nuzzle. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. So I think we're back to normal speed. I think we are back to normal speed here. But Scald's gonna fly through here. Send it. 
Bill, give me a burn. He's going to pop Citrus Berry. And we do get the burn. We do get the burn, which is nice. We get a lovely little burn. Citrus Berry is going to poke out here, and I'm terrified of this thing. It's just going to Bolt Absorb. It's just going to do that little Bolt. Which is rather annoying. This thing is Leftovers. Oh. This thing is Leftovers. I knew this combo would be scary for me. A little booger. Uh, he's legit just gonna follow me shot, so I'm just gonna do this. And I'm just gonna go for Skull. Skull's gonna do the most damage for us. He's legit doing that. Yep, follow me into Discharge, Bolt Absorb. Hopefully we can take this thing out. But we'll see. I'm gonna go for Discharge, there it is. Scary. This is some little scary Pokemon right here. A little scary combo. Really scary combo. He takes out my Pelper, no problem. My Ludicolo is able to soak. And hopefully Skull can do a good amount of damage here. We'll see. Skull coming in hot. Coming in hot. Oh, yes, sir. Burn will take that out. That's huge. That is huge damage there. That is huge damage. We love it. We love it. So good work, Ludicolo. Ludicolo ripping up with that life orb. Helping us out tremendously. If we can land a Giga Drain, I would really like this. I would really like if we can land a Giga Drain. Would really love if we can land a Giga Drain. But from here, ah, it's tough, dude. Zarmy is rather fast. But I could just protect whoever I bring. Do I want to bring out? Do I want to bring out Togekiss? I don't want to bring out Togekiss. He's gonna bring out Hit my top. I know that for a fact. Which kind of annoying. And I could use my Focus Ash this turn. Could be the play. Focus Ash could be the player. What do I do? What do I do? I am paralyzed, which I do not like. Uh, I think I'll save my Focus Ash. I think I'll save it. That's tough, dude. That's tough. God dang, we're time. I gotta be able to land a Geek Dream. And there's a hit on top. Do I double protect here? Do I double protect? I might have to double protect here. I might have to double protect, and I'm kind of leaning towards it. Double protect and then follow me the next shot. So my hit on top, or not my hit on top, my Ludicolo should be able to eat up a, uh, a discharge. Oh, we don't have protect again. Oh, no. At this point, do I just go for an attack? Let's go for a attack here. Oh, that's tough. It's real tough. At this point, I think I just Gleamer Air Slash here. Go for some crits. Let's run it. Giga Drain, dude. If we can get off this Giga Drain, we can be some good. But he's gonna fake me out all day. I wish I had Protect on this Pokemon because Protect would be huge. Because at that point, I would just double Protect and then follow me the next turn and, and hope that my uh, my Ludicolo can just eat up whatever the the Rotom has to offer. And then get off a of Giga Drain, recover a bunch of HP, and do a great amount of damage. So let's see what he does here. We shall see what he does. Yeah, but since uh, Ludicolo doesn't have Protect, we're just going to roll out with that. And he ends up faking out my Tokus. I'm kind of with that. I'm with that. Dang, I should have protected my Tokus. Thunderbolts can come in hot here. And Ludicolo eats. Just don't be paralyzed, dude. Beautiful Giga Drain coming in hot. KO this thing. Big damage. We get it back some big HP. And now we have a Gleam Flying, which is really important for us. Because this has a chance to take out that Rotom. And if we get rid of this Rotom, that could be a big turn. And it could do some big old damage onto that uh onto that him on top. This Rotom's rather bulky. That's why he's not hitting as hard. He's bulky with the leftovers. It's pretty solid for me. And wait, wait, wait. Oh, he faked me out. He faked me out until he But from here, Gleam again. And maybe just Giga Drain. Just Giga Drain again. Might as well. Gonna end up withdrawing the hit on top. I'm cool with that. And he's gonna fly out. His last Pokemon is going to be bum bum bum. Tokus. So Tokus gonna come in high here. He's probably protecting the Rotom. Yeah, he's just gonna look to follow him kind of. That's fine. That is fine. Gleam's gonna poke here. Love a little Gleam. And I can just keep Gleaming because Gleam is a double hitting move. Follow me won't really affect that too much. But I'm kind of just looking to get a crit here. It's kind of what I'm. Kind of what I'm looking for. Looking to get a crit. Well, my real question is here. Uh, what do I go into? Do I go into a Scald? What 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 will do more damage to to this Tokus? A Scald or an Ice Beam? Because Ice Beam is super effective, 90 base, so I think that brings it up to 180. But then Scald is stabbing in the rain. I think Ice Beam is still the better option. So, you know, I'm just gonna rip into an Ice Beam, go across onto the slot. Let's do it. So follow me is obviously gonna poke out here, right? Unless he's not gonna do it. Let's see, no, he doesn't. And our Gleam comes out here first. Take out the Rotom. Give me a crit. Yo, Tokus, you gotta be getting some crits. Did you get a crit? Who'd you get a crit on there? Thunderbolt's gonna fly. Can you eat this up? You cannot. That's rough. That is rough, but it's not too shabby. I still have Starmie. We know Starmie's fast Pokemon. Gleam's gonna fly here. Okay, I'm cool with this. 
Of course, he gets a crit on me. Who did I get a crit on? I think I got it onto the uh, Togi. I think I got it onto the Togi, but one more Gleam will take out that Rotom. And then I can kind of just Ice Beam right into that Togi. Would be beautiful. So we bring out Sarmi. We still focus Ash on. So if he wants to Thunderbolt me, he can Thunderbolt me all day. But we're, we should be fine. Speed's on our side. Speed is on our side. And we did get a crit on the Togekiss now. But we needed it on the road time to get on the Togekiss. But uh, we should go here. we do this. We keep rolling out with this battle. But yeah, if I can get rid of this road time and save my Sarmi and his focus Ash, be good. The Sarmi should be fastest on the field. Sarmi's fast. This little booger's fast. Should go Starmie, my Togekiss, and then his Togekiss, his I think speed's in our favor, so if we can get off a big turn here and RNG's on our side, I think we can win this battle. But that Rotom is a pain. It is such a pain. He's thinking of what to do. He might swap. Let's see what he does. He could go for a double protect try. Actually, no, he didn't protect last turn. Dropped a nice little Thunderbolt. Took out my boy. And took out my Ludicolo. Let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, we got that Ice Beam flying. We got the Dazzle Beam buzzing. And this turn's looking very good. Very, very good. But yeah, I'm so nice with it. Rotom Wash? Nice with it. He ends up withdrawing the Wash. And who's he going to go through? He's going to throw his final Mon, which is bum ba da bum I know, he already showed him on top. And I'm cool with him on top. I'm cool with him on top coming in here. But I can double protect these guys. I can double protect these guys. Hitman can come out here. We're special attacking. That's totally fine for us. Sarmi's gonna drop a nice lovely ice beam, chip up some damage here. And we don't pick up the KO, but Gleam should come out here and finish this off, right? Give me a crit onto the hit my top, please. That might be a crit. That's some big old damage. That is some big old damage. And we get the crit. So at this point, I'm just gonna double protect, right? I'm just gonna double protect. And there's my tokens getting the crits. Double critting up when we need him most. And yeah, now he has to hit my top out here. He just wanted the fake out. That's really what he wanted. Just want the fake out. So at this point, we just double protect, waste up the fake out. Gleam will take out the Rotom, and then we silver focus ash. The psychic can just barrel down, take it out. But yeah, protect, and then protect again. Play it smart. Play it smart and simple. Take this battle. We're going to take this battle because yeah, Starmie's fast. Our team's fast. Our team definitely has the speed. But that was a that was a nice little try by him. I think I think that was his last ditch effort. So like, I have to swap in him on top. I have to hope that he's not rocking protect. I have to call a good fake out. I have to hit a KO, but yeah, we're rocking double protect, which is beautiful. Imagine if Urshifu was in this game, or Urshifu's ability, Unseen Fist, where you can hit through protects. That will be OP. In this format, it would be so OP. It really would be. But double protect comes out from both my Pokemon. Togi Wogi, Sarmi's going to protect. And my top's going to drop a fake out. Block. He's probably, is he going to discharge here? Discharge might have been in play. Okay, that would have been hilarious if he discharged. And what's it called? <laughs> and, and he just took out his own Rotom. But yeah, get some leftovers HP and he might protect that Rotom. Might protect the Rotom, but I'm just going to not protect. I'm going to Gleam and I'm just going to Psychic and double down into this. Because this Gleam should be able to take out Rotom. And he might end up protecting Rotom anyway. Get some more leftovers HP. But uh, I think that's GG's, yo. Starmie's looking so good. I think Starmie's design is so cool. But our opponent cancels the battle and we grab ourselves that winning record. What a great set of battles for BDSP doubles. Gotta love it. We grab ourselves a winning record, and we didn't really get to use Scissor too much. Scissor went in one battle and got dumped on, so that's actually a plus for us. We used a team with Scissor and did not just, like, go after everything with Scissor. Because usually when I use Scissor, I usually can just Sword Dance up, and I rely on him heavily to grab ourselves a win. But we didn't do that. We got to show off Maggie Zone. We got Starmie in there a lot, and Starmie did some work. And then we got that Rain Squad alongside with Tokus doing work as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positivity day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.